Hey, it's Sandy. Welcome back to Cute Polish. In today's video, April and I will be showing you how to get a trendy baby boomer set of nails, also known as the faded French, by using dip powder. So let's jump right into it. To begin, make sure that your nails are prepped and ready. This means that you'll want to have your cuticles pushed back, excessive length cut off your natural nails, and your nails buffed so they look matte. Be sure to remove any dust on your nails by wiping them with rubbing alcohol. Next, you'll want to put the dip powder activator on the part of your natural nail where you'll be attaching the tip. Then use the dip powder base to glue the tip onto your nail. Wait about 30 seconds and then go ahead and cut them to your desired length. Next, file the tip to the shape that you want. We went with a coffin shape. While doing this, be sure to buff the tip so that it's matte. This will make sure that the dip powder adheres to it later. Again, remove any dust by wiping your nails down with rubbing alcohol. Now it's time to apply the dip powder primer to your natural nail. Once that's done, apply the dip powder base on the area between the fake tip and your natural nail. Then dip your nail into a transparent dip powder. This will make a smooth transition from the fake tip to your natural nail. Go ahead and brush away any excess powder. Next, apply the dip powder base to the middle of your nail, excluding the cuticle area and the sides. Now, to create the perfect gradient for these baby boomer nails, we're going to be adding the dip powder by tapping on a brush. This will gently and precisely give us the look that we're trying to achieve. Here we're applying the white dip powder to the tip. Then you'll want to make a smooth transition by adding some pink powder to the other half of your nail. Go ahead and repeat the white and pink application one or two more times to get that perfect opaque gradient. Once that's done, apply the base again and dip your nail into transparent dip powder. This will get rid of any small imperfections and it will prevent the white tips from yellowing. Now you'll want to brush away the excess powder and put a coat of the activator on. Wait one minute and then file and shape the nails to perfect them. You can also use a buffer to remove any large scratches. When everything is done, apply the activator again, but this time follow up very quickly with the first layer of top coat. The reason this must be done very quickly is because the activator speeds up the drying. Go ahead and apply a second layer of top coat, and then wait one minute for it to dry. Now you can finish off with some cuticle oil. Your nails are complete! Dip powder nails definitely have a lot of steps, but the great thing about them is that they last for weeks and you don't need a UV or LED lamp to dry them. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe to Cute Polish for a new video every week. And don't forget to subscribe to April's personal nail channel as well. You can check out more videos here on Cute Polish by clicking these boxes on the screen. Take care and I'll see you next time.